WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange is attempting a final legal challenge today to avoid being sent to the United States on spying charges. NBC's Josh Letterman recaps the case and reports on what happened today in London. Julian Assange facing one of his last opportunities to block his extradition to the U.S. to face espionage charges. Assange had hoped to be in court in person today, but his legal team says he was too sick to attend. But outside uh, the royal courts of justice, you can see uh, there are throngs of Assange supporters who are protesting uh, his likely extradition. Uh, now, the U.S. Uh, says that Assange threatened and risked the lives of U.S. troops and others uh, with his disclosures of information information through WikiLeaks obtained uh, from Chelsea Manning. But the Assange legal team has argued that he was acting as a journalist and as a whistleblower, exposing crimes by the U.S. government, and that extraditing him to the U.S. at this point would actually violate his human rights because he could potentially die in prison there or harm himself. The U.S. trying to assuage those concerns uh, by saying he won't be put into a maximum security prison. Now, if a judge decides that Assange is not eligible to get a full appeal, he could be extradited back to the U.S. within weeks or even days with U.S. Marshals coming here to London uh, to bring him back to the U.S. There is a slight chance a European court could try to intervene, but it's unclear whether they could act in time. Josh Letterman, NBC News, outside the Royal Courts of Justice in London.